me? Who wants to see a giant bag of stuff that I got from Sephora that I didn't really need at all, but yet I bought because I'm so excited because everyone is starting to stock in fall kind of stuff, and fall is my favorite season to makeup shop because everything that I do on my face that involves makeup is most often dramatic and extreme and a smoky eye. So fall is my most favorite season of the year! Ha ha ha! So I bought a ton of stuff and a lot of these are more splurge kind of high-end products, but I waited till I got back from LA to do all of my birthday shopping, so this was pretty much like my birthday gift. I also had a 10% off my entire purchase coupon and I had some gift cards to spend because it was my birthday, so let's dive right in. The very first thing, which isn't really a product at all, but I still wanted to share it with you guys because I wanted to know if y'all got suckered into this too. I mean, there was no real suckering into it. It only has benefits. So I hear. Sephora came out with a new VIB Rouge card, which is a step up, I guess, from their other Beauty Insider program. And in this little box, they promise you all kinds of mystical things will happen to you when you join this little red card club. I really do like this shiny red piece of plastic, though. I feel like maybe if I get stopped by the cops, I can just show them this and they'll just be like, all right, madam, continue on your way. Marc Jacobs just came out with a freaking awesome makeup line and I got some of the emails from Sephora that was talking about this line coming out and I thought it was gonna be super small like maybe just like a couple eyeshadows and some mascara but it's like a whole aisle at Sephora right now and I was really impressed by it. The very first product that I got is a blush and I'm actually wearing it today and I bought the shade Rebellious because I'm a big fan of really bright pink flushed looking uh, blushes. The other thing that I think is really cute is that each of the Marc Jacobs products comes in this little fabric pouch and it comes with a little travel applicator and uh, the packaging is pretty spiffy too. This is what the blush looks like. It has a really good feel and it has really good pigmentation. I like it. The next Marc Jacobs thing that I got is a brush and I actually used that today as well. This is supposed to be for bronzer. I bought it with the intention of never using it for bronzer. I like to put on my daily setting powder with a powder dome and something that is a little bit smaller than other powder brushes generally are. So it's got a little powder residue on it right now. It's very soft and I like the, the the bristles and uh, it's got a nice weight to it like it just feels like a luxury brush should I can't even say that because of my teeth they're in the way it's just ugh. I wish I could just move them temporarily. The next thing that I got is an eyeshadow palette and they have two different styles of palettes in the collection. One is a longer palette and that has five or six eyeshadow shades and then the one like I got is a trio of eyeshadows. It's a little bit less expensive. At first I thought I was just gonna go crazy and buy like two of the larger palettes but as I was going in and swatching the colors I would only like two or three colors out of every palette and I thought that I wasn't just getting my money's worth with doing that so I ended up finding a trio that I really like and once again the packaging looks really similar to the blush I got this trio which is called the glam and it is all natural top and brown colors and that's honestly some of my favorite eyeshadow shades to wear because I think it is really complementary to blue eyeballs so you get some mattes and some shimmer shades in every trio. The next kind of splurge type product that I got is from Dior and it's the brand new CC primer and honestly I am currently obsessed with this stuff. I'm using it for the first time today already I've developed an obsession. Once again, this is kind of a splurge primer, but if you're looking for a really, really like, wow, knock your socks off type primer, I mean, I feel like I have a whole new face today on my face. This is like a brand new face in a can. I really feel like it made an entire difference on my face. Like, I feel like everything is just doing a lot better. Like, I've had this makeup on now for several hours and I'm not getting like all the lines in my makeup 
makeup that I normally get from like facial expressions and stuff. Uh, it just makes everything better. The next Dior product that I got is also brand new and I was a little bit weary of it at first. It is the Matte Touch powder. Once again, it's in a spray type container. And the reason that I was weary about it when I brought it home is I didn't notice that the color is universal beige. They only have one color of this stuff, but I have it on today. I'm incredibly impressed with it. I am so pale that I am transparent, literally. Even though this is called beige, I'm not noticing that like my face is a different color than my neck. This feels lighter and better than any powder I have ever put on my face face for the price of it, it should. Uh, but once again, I'm really impressed. I don't know if this is going to be like an all the time thing or just a special occasion thing. I don't know how long this stuff lasts, but I'm excited while I have it. It was a good birthday present thing. The next thing that I got is also from Dior and I'm also wearing it today and it is the Dior Maximizer Lash Plumping Serum and I have been wanting to try this thing forever. I was looking for a replacement for a product that I don't think Urban Decay makes anymore, which was called lingerie and galoshes. And the lingerie part is the part that I loved because it was like a white mascara primer and you put it on and there were like these little filaments in it that adhered to your lashes. So it was kind of like temporary lash extensions and it also made them look fuller and more voluminous. Just everything that can be good that can happen to your eyelashes. It did but I think it has been gone for a really long time. I do have to say that I am highly impressed with this stuff. I don't think it has as many fibers as the Urban Decay one had but I think it is a great replacement and it's probably going to be a staple in my makeup routine from now on because I think it just makes my eyelashes look so much more voluminous and much more false and I don't even have to bother with false eyelashes. The last Splurge Dior product that I got I have also always wanted and it is is a nail product called the Dior Nail Glow. And what it's supposed to do is give you an instantaneous French manicure without having to do anything else. The packaging is ultra swank. And I honestly have always wanted to try this stuff because I have heard that it is really conditioning for the nails. And I've been putting these plastic nails on almost every day I don't know why. I'm just really into plastic nails lately, but I kind of think it's tearing up my nail beds, like taking them off and putting them on every single day. And I really think that this is very nourishing and it does give your nails like a really awesome effect. I think it could easily look different on all kinds of different skin tones. It doesn't really make my nails look like a pink gel. It almost makes them look like weird and kind of purpley. I don't know. I really, really, really like it. I think it is freaking amazing. It probably just looks more purpley on me because I'm not from this planet and like my alien flesh shows through through the nicest things. I don't know. I love it though. I'm not complaining. I'm totally glad that it isn't just like a standard pink gel looking thing. End of story. I'm talking a lot today. The next item that I got is a freaking steal. I thought that this thing was amazing and for some reason Smashbox isn't a brand that I'm normally drawn to but I saw a lot of new products and I spent like three hours in Sephora the other day so I came across this thing. It is a huge palette and and it is called the Masterclass Palette 2. I guess there was a Palette 1 that I missed out on and I never saw. This thing is $60 and I know $60 isn't like cheap, but I thought it was a freaking good deal for what I saw. I definitely think this could be like somebody's entire makeup collection for a year. You get all of these eyeshadows, all of these blushes, highlights, and these are all different gel eyeliners. I bought this because I'm about to be doing tutorials and stuff out the wazoo for you guys for the Halloween season. And I thought having all these different shadow choices would help me to create a lot of looks that maybe, you know, wouldn't be my everyday look. But I just thought that this was a total steal. I could not pass it up. I tried. Not really, but I am so impressed. 
I also swatched pretty much every eyeshadow shade in the store and I didn't find one shade that I didn't think was really awesome or intriguing or pretty. I like them all. The next thing that I got is another Smashbox product and it is from their Fade to Black collection which I think is their newest collection and it is an eyeshadow eyeliner pencil and I have it on my lower waterline today. The shade is black gold and I already actually have a swatchy swatchy on from when I did my makeup today. It is a really dark golden color but I think it works great if you do a lot of browns or even black smoky eyes. This can also be used as a really awesome eyeshadow base just to put it all over your eye. Um, there's a smudgy sponge applicator side so it's really easy to blend out. I am really looking forward to doing a bunch of different looks with this little puppy. The next two products I got and I'm blaming A Rose 186 Arden here on YouTube. She's the first person to show me that this stuff existed and this is also my first Lancome makeup product I think I've ever owned in my life. So this is from the special collection The Lancome Show and it is a collab with Albert Albert Elbaz. Should I know who that is? Should I feel guilt for not knowing who that is? I don't know who that is. I really don't. But I'm impressed with it. The packaging is super cute. They had four different collections within this collection, if that Inception type thing makes any sense to you. The products that I got are both from the same collection and they are the Hypnose Drama. So this is a mascara, which I tried for the first time today. And like I said, the packaging, all of the packaging is super adorable. The product, the container, the everything. So this is supposed to be the most dramatic one and like I said I have a flair for drama in the makeup department. All of the different brushes on all four of the different mascaras were crazy different and the very first time that I saw this applicator I was like go home mascara wand you're drunk. It really is like kind of squiggledy biggledy. That's not a real word. I made it up. It's real now. But I have to say this mascara wand is freaking amazing. It's like flat and curved so you can really get very close to your actual retina and brush this stuff on and I don't know you can like twist the brush so it moves your lashes in different magnificent ways. I think it's great. Once again it's way more expensive than like the drugstore mascaras that I normally use but it's fun and it was just something to try maybe just once you know. Birthday! Okay that's my excuse. Birthday! It only happens once a year. I also got the eyeshadow palette that went along with this drama collection and once again the packaging on this is super adorable. That is what the palette looks like and once again I selected this one because I thought it would have the most eyeshadows that I would use. I think there's a gnat in here. God. Nat King Cole. Once again I got this palette because I thought that the shadows in it would be something that I would use frequently. They look a lot more paler and washed out I think in the camera than what they actually are but once again they are like browns and I'm a big fan of sparkly, I can't think of the word, not sparkly, uh, shimmer eyeshadows. Woo! Paper, paper. That's all the makeup-y type stuff that I got. I got three of my life staple products. Cannot go a day without them. If I actually go a day without them, my face starts to break out. So these are the Murad Clarifying Wipes for Blemish Prone Skin. I talk about these ag nauseum. I'm sure y'all are so tired of hearing me talk about them. I got three packs because I had a 10% off coupon and I know it's something that I'm going to be using on the daily. The next thing that I got is something that I wouldn't normally buy. It is a shampoo. The reason why I wouldn't normally buy something like this is because it's got sodium laurel sulfate in it. Sulfate fades black hair but I recently just had the worst haircut and worst dye job of my life so I feel like it can't get any worse than this. And this is Bumble and Bumble Surf Shampoo. It's supposed to be thickening and kind of beachy and texturizing. If you've been here for a while the Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray is a product that I absolutely cannot live without. I love it. It gives 
gives you like piratey, dirty looking, magnificent hair. I love things like that. So I'm really looking forward to trying this shampoo. Keeping with the beach theme, I got a new fragrance and I honestly went here 100% with the intention of buying the new Marc Jacobs Honey Bee Hands perfume spray. It's even got a little bee on it. Uh, I thought that perfume smelled really good and then I found this one and I love this one 9 million times more. <sighs> I've been talking a long time. I need a sippy sippy. Ah. This is the Beach Fragrance by Bobbi Brown and I've never had a Bobbi Brown product before in my life and I just thought Bobbi Brown was makeup. I had no idea that they made perfume as well. If you love the beach like I love the beach, I live not too far away from the beach, this is literally like you are at the beach. That's what it smells like. There's like even hints of suntan lotion and like driftwood or something magical. I adore this. It smells very comforting to me. I think I just spat. I'm sorry. And the last, last thing that I got is a little travel set by Tokyo Milk. I got way more excited than I should at the checkout line because I thought Sephora started carrying the whole Tokyo Milk collection but they didn't they just have a couple little tiny things and i'm about to go out of town next month to walt disney world so i'm on the lookout for travel products already this is tokyo milk dark it comes in a super cute little pouch with a key on it and i really don't know what to compare this scent to it is a lotion and rollerball set and i know this is going to sound really nasty but i really like this smell it smells it smells like flowers and cigars, if that even sounds appealing to anyone. I really love the smell of cigars. I hate the fact that it's like disgusting and smoky and nicotine and will kill you, but I love the smell of them. I feel like you get all the rewards without the harm with this product. It literally, I don't know, it's feminine and masculine at the same time, which is normally the kind of smells that I like to smell like. Uh, so you get this little roller ball and uh, this little lotion. It says it's supposed to smell like sandalwood and tea and vanilla beans and things. I disagree with you, Tokyo Milk. I think it smells like flowers and cigars. I'm sorry for talking your head off. I know that this was really long and all my videos lately have been really long. Uh, I had a lot of stuff to show you guys so this is kind of like my birthday haul at the same time. Uh, this was basically all I got for my birthday except for a couple t-shirts that I bought at Wasteland when I was in LA. Uh, so this is it. Happy birthday to me. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of like review haul type thing. If you're not already please take a minute to subscribe, hit that button, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. Also if you want you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyard girl or you can follow me on twitter tumblr or instagram same way it's spelled here at graveyard girl and i will see you guys tomorrow love y'all so much and take care bye